How's it going? Uh, been seeing a lot of uh, really sort of repetitive uh, form requests coming in. Repetitive in the sense that it's just the same issue. It boils over with most people who put in a year or maybe two years of playing disc golf and that they're starting to get a little more serious about the form. They want to keep up and maybe throw a little further. Maybe they're suffering from neck problems from trying to throw the disc hard. And um, probably one of the most common things that you will see um, in those form requests is people who aren't really planting against their front foot. They'll put it down, but it is, it's sort of on the way to coming through with their upper body. So they, the plant happens, but their upper body is coming through right away. And a big part of the reason that we're planting and bracing against our front foot is to give our body's momentum to our arm. So we get our body moving, and if we can stop our body, that momentum, that force that's our weight moving forward, it has to go somewhere. It can't go into the ground any more than our body has stopped our foot. So we're already pressing a lot of that weight into the ground. But since our body is aligned against that plant foot, and we're forcing ourselves around this axis of rotation that is our head, down our spine, against our plant foot through the ground, we can put our momentum into rotational force around this axis. And when we do that, our arm gets all of this juice. We get to come around and the beauty is our arm is actually has a pretty good chunk of weight to it. You know, our muscle, bone, all the good stuff in it, it probably weighs 25, 35 pounds. I don't know how much exactly, but it's like swinging a real heavy bat. And when we align our bat, this bat, it's more than a bat though, because it's hinged. It's hinged here, here, here. It's hinged where we're gonna come out on the disc from our grip. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna collapse all these hinges into here. And since we're bracing against this, we're gonna give the rotational force to our arm. It's gonna swing those hinges open and you get big time force. Much more force than you can by just uh, throwing your upper body through. So it's really, it becomes really important that we stack our weight in a, uh, in a profile that allows good rotation. So you'll watch the, the top tier, tier pros. When they're, we'll call it hitting, right into here, boom, all of their momentum comes out rotationally. And that's why they don't go catapulting off the end of the tee box. They can, boom, race and stand up. They've transferred all of their weight into their arm and they're bracing against their thigh and then it just comes up. Let's talk about that big X step for a second. I think the fact that those guys are taking a very long stride, it hurts to use that video as a big teaching tool because most people who are trying to improve their form, that position of taking a long striding last step, it just, it's devastating to what you can do with your hips. From this position, if I get stretched out, I, it's very hard for me to get any sort of hip uh, torsion that I can use up in my upper body. But if I shorten my stance up 
and just go to, you know, okay, shoulders, a little bit wider. From here, and I can get a ton of torsion. I, it's just, it's available for me to use. So as I come through, it's just, I can, I'm not, I'm not having to do any of the real work. I've got my hips available and by driving through here, um, and sometimes people will ask, you know, where do the hips open in relation to this whole throat? They start everything. So if I just start from here, um, like I was going to take a, an X step, it's, it's not separate motion. It's all linked together. It's like overlapping systems. So, but I wouldn't want to start with my arm and then leave my hips behind. I'd want to start with my hips, bring my core through, and then engage my arm. So it's, I, I'm actually over exaggerating, but if I was going to throw a shot, it, it's, uh, it's sort of like, it's like a pitcher coming off a mound. He doesn't overdo his hips and then come around. He will, it'll all come together, but boy, I'm a terrible pitcher why I like disc golf I guess so let's just go back to setting up this pivot I want this my form it's kind of subconsciously I should be thinking I'm gonna have to throw braced against this this axis so I, if I'm guiding the disc in in my right pec hand on the outside I don't want to be looking over here or tilting my hips forward because this is not a part of the axis that's a really common thing. Guys will want to keep their arm forward, but that's putting the arm before the hips. So we want to brace. And it's just rotation. That's all it is. We're trying to create a powerful pirouette. So when I go back to adding in my X step, It's, I want it to be just this, it's just, a, it's just moving my hips forward a little bit faster into that brace. If I put more hip than I can actually brace against, it's just waste because I'm potentially losing accuracy because I'm coming through, I gotta put that energy somewhere. So only use the X step that you can actually transfer into what you need in your shot. I throw standstills all the time because for me I've become very comfortable with it and I can hit 300 to 350 feet pretty very much more repeatable and and all I'm doing then is worried about when I release I want my angle to be just like this or I want my my nose to be down a little more here or whatever that's my only real thought it's not oh I have to I've got to move all these other parts. It just becomes, I'm just going to hit here. So that's the only thing that was on my, on my mind thinking about that. So, all right, just to recap, stand on the balls of our feet so that we, when we drive off our back foot, we're coming through the instep. We're, we're always able to engage from the ball of our feet. We've got a lot more balance that way. Um, Say it again, hand on the outside, elbow extension. Um, keeping my nose pointed this way, and I'm extending up down my, my line. Hope that helps. Talk to you guys later.